Yeah. Well, I'm going to run the same questions I, I give everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, and I mean, it's the same question, but then, you know, like follow up questions. So, okay. Um, I hope I don't uh, say anything that gets me free coffee from the pastor. Yeah. <laughs> so, my name's Jeff, first of all. Hi, Jeff. I'm What's Eric. You? Eric? Yeah. All right. So, my question is what do you think happens after this life? And then the second part is how did you get to that belief? So, wherever you're at with it, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's actually, it's a great question. It's a, like a universal question. We're all going to die, you know. And so I ask it of anybody, you know, regardless of their background. And it's and I'm not like implying that you're supposed to have certain beliefs or anything, <laughs> but yet it's spiritual, right? Yeah. Um, and then and then I love to hear people's story of how they, how they got to where they're at, you know. Okay. So, <laughs> so. I want to yeah. make sure I phrase things well enough that I don't get embarrassed by my small group. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Or like I said, free coffee with the pastor because I didn't like adequately enough acknowledge hell or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so <laughs> Which means that's a bad thing then. So it's like, hey, let's have some coffee. we got to talk. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's usually okay. good coffee. Oh, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so, so I believe in, in heaven and hell and that where they're basically we all deserve hell but Jesus died for us so that if we accept his death we go to heaven instead okay um, I think that's the short version how this, I got yeah, there is it's I, a very short version but it's very <laughs> effective yes. um, yeah just, <laughs> uh, we were just doing we had a small group question the other day I was like what's what's your like five second version of what the, the, the elevator is? version <laughs> yeah and I think like our study guide had one answer that was kind of radically different than what Paul was writing in the letter book we were reading. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that covers the core of, of what yeah, I'm at. And then, um, so then the, yeah, okay. Or, or, and then the question is, how did you get there? So, like, kind of what's your story? Sort of born into it. Mm -hmm. um, I've come to question it a lot more in various phases of my life. Um, and come, so, I started in Palatine. Grew up in Palatine, going mm -hmm. to First Presbyterian there. Um, ended up going to Willow after that. Um, Which is out by there. Yeah, yeah. further out. Um, yeah. Larger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think somewhere on college I started thinking like a lot of folks leave high school with a conception of Christianity that's not really any deeper, more complicated than a lot of folks' conception of Santa Claus at like uh -huh. fourth grade. It's, it's easily uh, <laughs> challenged. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't really hold up too well when you push it, or it holds up very strongly until it starts to crumble. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not that not that Rob Bell is everybody's favorite anymore, but I, think right. I really liked his uh, his trampoline trampoline spring analogy. Like theology doesn't necessarily work best as bricks in a wall, but springs that can help you get closer to God. Uh huh. Trampoline. Um, that was an old one, though. It's yeah. Like Rob Bell. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if it breaks, it, you go right through. Yeah. Because if yeah, if, if you're if you're counting on it to to be the thing that gets you up to God, like your right beliefs are what gets you to God, then um, and you're just sort of stacking bricks, then anyone that crumbles, all of a sudden, you fall to the ground. Yeah. Um, so maybe I think really talking about like more of a network of of understanding and belief rather than a sort of one particular systematic. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, he's kind of a hippie. Yeah. So. And then did you go to like so you? You had that belief in high school, but kind of untested. Yeah. And then college, whatever, uh, you were tested at some point, or yeah. would you say? Um, I, honestly, I didn't spend as much time with any church as I wish I would have in college. Uh -huh. um, the folks, I went to U Chicago, and the, the folks who were doing the campus ministry stuff down there, uh, actually my RA uh, tried to bring me to her, uh, her church that was uh, High Park Vineyard. Uh -huh. Once, and I uh, have since met the pastor there uh, years afterward. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, um, Rand but and Amy. He, I know he them. told me that he was sweating bullets that day because it was the one time that he, um, one time that decade, I think he talked about the gift of tongues. Oh, uh -huh. and they're a more charismatic church than the traditions I come from. So yeah. I, I stayed through service. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I basically floated for four years without really having a church home. Or did you go to college in Chicago? Yeah, then? New Chicago. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. 
moved to the near west side after college, started going to park when it was just in Lincoln Park. Okay. Just barely in CTA range. Was uh, that when it's still at uh, Park, uh, Francis Parker School? Yeah. Really? Yeah, this is a little... Because uh, my wife and I were in the core group of that. Nice. Yeah, so we remember the Francis Parker days. Did you <laughs> Did you go to the uh, anniversary thing? No, no. Okay. Um, that was their 30 year anniversary they did big. Yeah, we party. stayed for what, half a year after it launched and then uh, moved to the south side, so yeah. Yeah, I think uh, they just, they announced that they're gonna open the first south side campus just after one of the uh, pastors had jokingly prayed for the Cubs. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go to that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so then, uh, would, would, may I ask what your, what was your major? Uh, English. Okay. Was there ever a time when you, like, well, you, you, you said there was some times when you struggled, right? Mm -hmm. Like you went through some struggles. What would they have to do with? I'm guessing the whole science faith thing or maybe not? Um, not as much. Uh, being in the literature side of things, um, actually I was on a swing away from Ayn Rand, I think, at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, somehow in high school I convinced myself that I could be a um, Vulcan worshiper of capitalism at the same time that I could worship Jesus. Uh -huh. Even if there are maybe some verses that kind of point directly the other direction. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I was swinging back away from that and towards more um, valuing human emotions and responses to things on that level. So the science thing wasn't so hard for me. Okay. Um, got kind of mystic in a in an undirected way. Uh huh. Um, and gosh, I think the the big thing was uh, a series of. Uh, I like to think that sometimes I find myself running quickly away from God without realizing that's what I'm doing, and yeah. he sort of very gently and lovingly sticks his toe out and trips me. Yeah. Um, we start to get uh, <laughs> self-confident, maybe, or think that, yeah. we, I got this, or something. Yeah, I've totally yeah. got this figured out. And then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been tripped up many times doing that. Yeah. yeah. Which is painful at the time, but yeah. yeah. It's yeah. helped me. So those are the kinds of things that uh, have, have been hard, difficulties. Yeah. 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 Um, how do you, uh, so I, I think it's important to, um, you know, when, sometimes I talk to Christians like yourself, huh? it's like, how do you share your faith? Like, how, do you, yeah, how do you, how, you know, like, you, yeah. I'm sure you have embraced that that's our job or our, yeah. Our responsibility, you know, like, uh, what's yeah, your take we, on uh, that? I don't know how often we officially embrace the term evangelical at Park these days. Right. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's starting to become a little overused, so. Yeah. Um, but I think. I don't know what else we could turn to, what other term, but. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, there's a Lutheran tradition of using the word slightly differently, too, so. Mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. Whatever word, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an English major guy, so, like, I, whatever word appropriately conveys something to the audience is what I'm yeah. um, so that might that might be a different thing when talking to somebody who's from a traditionally and still practicing Catholic family yeah. uh, I might say like well I'm Protestant or I'm just Christian or, yeah. um, I just read a work about um, uh, oh what was his name now like, um, Dietrich Bonhoeffer and I guess the which what we would call the evangelical churches here they call them uh, confessional? Have you heard that? I mean, yeah. seen that? Yeah, he was I'm big on the, the confessing sure, church movement during the Yeah, year. and I'm pretty sure that that meant we are actively trying to, you know, share our faith and we take the Word of God seriously. Mm -hmm. That's part of it. I'm pretty sure. I think part of it is also um, like the confess, like, I think there was a... Like they didn't go along with Nazism, you know, like yeah. the, 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 the government version of church. Yeah, I... Yeah. I mean, maybe this is because I was reading a lot of Bonhoeffer at the same time I was reading um, Many Colors by Sun Chan Ra, who's up at North Park. Uh -huh. um, but he, he's gotten, Sun Chan's gotten into this idea of like the importance of, lamenta the importance of lamentation and lamenting corporately. Uh -huh. So it's not just, you know, like, not just my specific volitional sins that um, need to be discussed, but like America's sins. Okay, for institutionalized yeah. sin. Yeah. Things that, you know, I. I didn't get any say in, but yeah. I'm part of it. But, and we often benefit from. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's 
when I think about um, the meaning of confession in the confessional church with Bonhoeffer, that's one of the things that comes to my mind. Okay. So they're also sort of lamenting we're in bondage publicly. to sin. We can't even just like decide to stop sinning because we're and lamenting what that. other churches that they were at least nominally a part of okay. were, were doing. In Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, to answer your question, <laughs> yeah, um, I I talk a lot. Um, uh -huh. I'm I don't make any secret about like who I am and what I believe. Uh -huh. I'm more than willing to have that conversation all the time. Yeah. Um, I think in a lot of my life, uh, it's been a long time since I read like the like tactical evangelical right, kind yeah, of literature. Yeah. Um, but I remember somebody had this idea of like nine or 12 or something, like interactions that really needed to take, maybe it was seven, uh -huh. before somebody was really ready to yeah, I've heard that, yeah. Come across the line. Maybe even a higher number. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just starting. If you know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I've, I've done this so much that I've run into people over and over, you know, like several times. Sure. And sometimes it'll be like a year later, you know, and I just happen to, you know, ask them this question. I don't always do it with a camera. I'm trying to, like, show people at church, you mm -hmm. know, how we can have these kind of conversations. But yeah. so I've run into people and I've asked them the question, what do you think happens in the guy's Sometimes it's like, you asked me that like a year ago, you know, and then I'll just say, so what do you remember from that congregation, yeah. from that conversation? Because I don't, you know, I've talked to so many people I can't yeah. remember specifically. And um, a lot of times I'm kind of disappointed, you know, it's like, yeah. I would have hoped that it would have had more meaning. Sometimes I, I think, well, maybe God is just leading me back to people that need to hear it again. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I take a... Uh fair amount of solace in the sort of extending the metaphor of the parable of the sower like yeah i can i can be part of scattering seeds yeah like i i don't i don't the, the farmer doesn't force a seed to grow right they, they yeah. help they help can't provide even... the conditions yeah but yeah like either the seed's going to grow or it's not and yeah. you're going to see you know in a couple months or longer what yeah. actually comes of it yeah um yeah so that's but uh, when i was talking about the different interactions mm -hmm. um I think a lot of my role in those conversations is often try to show that you can be a Christian without necessarily being what somebody's stereotype of a Christian might be. Yeah. Um, so I'm, we're we're always fighting that. Now, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm. I mean, in some ways, like I'm, I'm a I'm a white dude from the suburbs, so like. Yeah. It's, it's already hitting the stereotype a little bit harder. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like I'm. Um, a, a thinking person, someone who's like a continual learner within the church and without. Like, uh -huh. I'm still reading academic blogs and books and stuff from uh, not necessarily Christian sources. Yeah. Um, love to throw down on continental philosophy. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I have always been a fan of punk rock. Like, like I was the guy like hanging out after bad religion shows in the 90s like uh -huh. like let's let's go get some coffee or something and talk this out because this is fun to me yeah um yeah. And that sort of thing um there are some people who are maybe maybe they're closers um i might not be one of them i'm yeah i I'm, don't think i am <laughs> yeah i definitely i'm willing to have that conversation if it comes to me right but, um yeah yeah I I, uh, I like what you're saying. You know, like um, I guess I I really take seriously that that we're ambassadors for Christ, and I really I've really um, come to embrace it. An ambassador is someone who has to represent his home country, and he has to get to know the new country, and he has to kind of like bring the two together. And so, in order to do that, he has to understand both. You yeah. know, and so I have to understand, you know the Bible and you know the things of God but I also ha also have to understand the, the the worldly mindset and how to communicate a godly message in a in a in world in the vocabulary of the world you know sure. um, and understand like where people are at and then what is their perception of you know just trying to bring the two together mm -hmm. and and so I'm this I feel like I'm this as an ambassador for Christ, I'm this middle person who has to understand both worlds very well. Yeah. You know, and uh, try to, and then as I'm trying to like um, help other people in my church to understand, we can have these kind of conversations on the street with anybody. Um, that's another. That's a whole another uh, challenge. That's a big challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to try to, so that's why I do the videos. You know. So. I um, 
every time I've seen one of your posts up on Facebook, I've liked. Oh, it. you've seen them? Yeah. Oh, really? Because <laughs> you've done text posts too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Like the conversation, I try to let it um, inspire me to write something. So I'm not writing about the whole conversation, but uh, yeah, there will be text with the video. Yeah. So. It's good. So safer, you've seen them. Safer than you just put a transcript I, of me up. I there. always wonder if anyone does see them. So oh, you get a few likes. <laughs> I get yeah, I get a few like, responses. Definitely yeah. get at least one like. Yeah. I don't always have something meaningful to have say. Have you seen him in what response. in the Bridgeport? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I've, for better or worse, I'm a member of just about every Bridgeport Facebook group. Okay, yeah, there's quite a few. <laughs> yeah, I'm always a little hesitant to put it on there, but you know, people have been more positive than negative. So Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice to see thoughtful caring things on Facebook. Yeah. Even, even you know I mean a lot of it's just advertising or whatever, but yeah. So or, yeah. Or people trying to spread negative emotions around. Yeah. So I'll give you my uh, card so you can see where this will go in a few days. Hopefully something will inspire me. Oh, you're, you're offering free coffee too, huh? but not in a bad yeah. way. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to talk further. So, yeah. And you know I go to New Life. Did you know I, that? I know or? that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So great to meet you, Eric. Yeah, nice meeting you too. So, all right.